So a few months back I made a short video showing you guys how to get DS games onto your 3DS home screen and a lot of you were asking in the comments if you could do the same with other systems and you'll be glad to know that you can and in this video I'll be showing you exactly how to do that. You will need a modded 3DS and your own ROMs to do this but at this point that's expected so let's get into it. So first things first you need to visit the website on screen. The link will be in the description and you need to click the first link on the right to download the latest build of the software we're using. It was last updated in 2020 so I don't think there's any need to worry that this guide will become outdated anytime soon so you should be fine. Extract the file using 7-zip, double click the application inside of it, and click extract so you can extract the whole folder and it'll let you use the application. Once you open the application, click the load button in the top left corner and choose what system your ROM is for. You'll notice that there are a lot more options than you'd expect and even that Nintendo had on their official virtual console. I just think that's cool. Click load ROM and choose the ROM you want to inject. Once it loads, there's a chance it'll show up without the icon art, and if this happens, you'll need to download and import your own art, one that you got from Google or something. For the banner, you can choose whether you want it to just be the image you imported or an actual 3D frame that surrounds the image and shows the name of the game. Do note that your image will be cropped if you use the frame. There is an option to have the full image, but it's so small it's not worth it. Clicking on the footer banner allows you to edit it, adding or deleting anything you do or don't like. You can choose any font you have installed on your computer, but the default one looks nice enough. If you're doing a system that requires a BIOS file, like PS1, you'll need to get that imported into the options menu. My PS1 BIOS file didn't work, so I just gave up on that, but if you have one, it should work. After you finish all of that and have everything the way you like it, you can export the ROM. Choose the folder you want to export it to and click save. It'll give you a pop-up once the file has finished exporting. Locate the folder you exported it to and you'll see that it's saved as a CIA file, which is the file that all 3DS games use. Now to get this file onto the 3DS. You can either remove the SD card from your modded 3DS and put it into your computer or, what I'm doing, use an FTP to wirelessly transfer the file to the 3DS. If you don't already have a folder named CIAs on the root of your SD card, I suggest you make one and put the ROM you just created in that folder. Now that it's on the 3DS, open FBI and locate the folder you put the ROM in. Click it and click install and delete CIA so it won't take up unnecessary space on the SD card. Once it finishes installing, you can close FBI and return to your home screen. You'll get a pop-up telling you that new software has been added to the home screen, which is your ROM. If all went well and you used a good ROM, the game will launch and work as any other virtual console game does. Because this is a virtual console game, you can't use filters or any other options that standalone emulators offer, but it is the closest you'll get to an official virtual console game now that the 3DS eShop has been shut down. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to you, and let me know in the comments down below if it was. See you guys next week. Goodbye.